Yeah, well, I, 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 objectivity of memory, there is no such thing as far as I'm, I'm concerned. I, I can't see any objectivity in memory. It's all subjective. But then, so is the here and now. Certainly, there are verifiable things that we can do that will help science along, of course, and we can look at things statistically, etc., and so on, and you can accumulate experience. I think, for me as a painter, it's all subjective. And you want me to sort of recount the, the story a little bit, too, at the same no, time? No, you don't have to, you know, just in your head. Okay. It was... It was one of just incredible wonder. I mean, you just, you, you, you can't believe that you found a secret passageway to something. It, it's just one of the most significant kind of things that you, you, you could imagine witnessing. The entrance is very narrow to these caves and I'm led through and very quickly you see that this is a passageway that's been sculpted by water over thousands and thousands of years. So your body's always kind of contorting and twisting through that passageway. And then you come to a moment where there's something of a kind of an opening or a cling and you look up and there's this amazing drawing right next to your forehead of a bison that was probably painted 17 or 20,000 years ago and looking so incredibly fresh. And there you are witnessing this and knowing that it's part of this Paleolithic kind of heritage that is so incredibly precious and fragile. Uh, and, and yet it's so imminent, it's so right there in the moment with you. I think just that it's it's a profound memory that isn't sharp. It doesn't have clear edges to it as a memory. It's a memory that seems to almost sink underwater. It has a kind of sense of an undertow to it. So when I think of this experience, I don't think of it as a very descriptive thing, but as something that has incredible sound and weight to it, something that dwells in you for a long, long time. It's, it's, the, it's this notion that the photograph is a, is a moment in time and it has this kind of sense of veracity to it. It has this sense of, of being real, the fiction of being real. And it's been framed, uh, all the values have changed. Of course, it's not real, but it has this kind of um, semblance, if you like, of uh, something that we could say exists. And so that's a really nice kind of um, departure point for me. Uh, hurling myself now into a world where I can mess that up, I can, I can distress it, I can revamp it, I can do all kinds of things with it to make it more now about this thing which we call memory, which has taste and smell and physicality and entrance and exit and sleeping and resting and waking and it has this much more kind of animate notion about it. So what is brilliant about the photograph is that it freezes that just for a moment to give me the, the springboard into all the other things that are alive and open and moving. Yeah, I, th I think that um, every painting has a history and its history is really important, either revealed or concealed. So 
For me, uh, the history of some of my paintings are totally concealed. You probably would never be able to suspect that underneath was a black painting and on top is a blue painting. But for me, it's very real. For me, it's something that caused this to happen. Uh, it was a generator. Uh, and so I've often spoken of paintings as generators. Generators of energy, generators of ideas, generators of composition. And so all the underpainting, all the things that were necessary to get there were necessary, even if a lot of it gets covered up. But I suspect that if you look long enough, and if you're allowed to touch the paintings, you might get a really good idea, nevertheless, of how they got there. It's much more now about the cave, so it is a mashup still, but Juan has kind of handed, or it's, it's almost like a relay into something much more interesting for me. So, that, yeah, that's cool. I'm not writing a newscast. I'm not trying to make something publicly known as clearly as possible. I think that the intrigue as a painter is its inherent mystery, its inherent kind of uh, uh, misunderstandings and uh, ability to carry to places that you hadn't predicted. But I, I feel as though there's something going on now, whereas uh, in the last uh, few days, not so much. <laughs>